Hello everyone, it's Kaylee. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my lash card and also how I keep it very organized for my clients. So you know as lash techs, we have all sorts of supplies, like tens, thousands and thousands of tens of supplies. So I do not keep everything in my lash card. I usually keep my sanitation tools in the kitchen, um, backup supplies like lashes, extra tweezers, extra remover, pads, whatever. I always keep it in this cabinet behind me. And then I also keep some stuff on my lash pillow tray, such as like tweezers, um, my lash tile, extra lashes, primer, just like a few little stuff that I would need like when the client is in front of me. Hopefully this video helps you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, leave me a like and a comment, turn your post notifications on so you never miss any of my future uploads. And without further ado, let's hop on into the video. So this is my lash card. And as you can see, there's not a lot on there and I do like to keep it that way. So on the top of my lash cart, I have this acrylic tray that I got from Amazon. And you can literally get this from anywhere. You can get this from Amazon. You can get this from like a home sense kind of store or wherever, maybe even Walmart. But you know, Amazon has it good and they have it cheap. So what I like to keep in there is, of course, a mirror for my clients. And I like to use this very nice big mirror. I like seeing my entire face, and I'm sure your client will appreciate that as well. And it's pink. Love that. I have some extra glue stickers in there. I don't use my jade stone much anymore, but this is still good to just have on handy just in case. And I also like to keep my dental bibs in the back because, of course, I use them for every client. And as you can see, I also use a dental bib for the bottom of my cart just because sometimes I was finding that my micro swabs or whatever would fall through because if you look at the bottom and you see the grates and I, I I just want to minimize any kind of falling or whatever so I put a dental bit there plus it's pink so it looks super cute I also have two fans that I like to keep handy and I got those from Amazon as well and you can just go ahead and like charge those and they last me a decent amount of time before I need to charge it again I also keep my selfie ring light which always comes in handy I absolutely love it keep my um, hydrogel eye patches in there also keep spoolies micro swabs and lip wand applicators and I use the spoolies you know for their spoolie duties <laughs> and I use the micro swabs to apply primer and I like to use these uh, lip wands to do lash baths and I also like them for removals and over here I just keep some of my glue rings are these the ones that are shaped like hearts? No, but these ones are double blue rings, which come in handy. And I want to get the ones, I'm running out of these ones, so I definitely want to get the ones that are shaped like hearts because it's super cute. So in the back, I just like to keep an eyelash shampoo. I also, also like to keep a water bottle handy for like rinses and stuff like that. I also like to keep this hand sanitizer from Bath and Body Works. I do keep a hand sanitizer also on my desk, but sometimes just in between um, clients, I just, or just in between doing a set, I just like to spray my hands just to keep everything on top. And this is a really nice scent. It's French lavender. Absolutely love this from Bath and Body Works. I also keep my Nano Mister on hand. And I keep my tape it's inside of this scotch um roll container but this tape is actually the 3m micropore tape um, i love this tape i'll show you it's literally literally perfect and i like that it rips easily so there's no waste as well and it's super like comfortable on your client's um, skin I also like to keep my magnifying um, eyeglasses up top because I use these for every client no matter what, no matter how much I think I can see, no matter how much light I have, I still always use this. And this is the 3.5 level and, I, and this is the highest level for the one that I got off of Amazon. And here I just keep this tile as well. This is for your adhesive drops. You can just put it in the little hearts. Aren't these things cute? Like, okay, I know like it's just supplies, but honestly as a lash tech, when you get cute things, it just 
makes things feel so good so if you guys want to know like where i get some of like my supplies or like where you can find like cute eyelash supplies just let me know and i can do a video for you guys so here i have my glue shaker so basically you know how when you have to uh what's it called shake up your adhesive like this before you start a client i literally just throw this in here and hold it for like 30 seconds to a minute and it shakes it up itself it's literally perfect so that um lessens my time as well so i love that from there it's just basically like different sizes i always keep a sharpie for my lash maps and i always keep um mirrors to see uh, my client's lashes i keep a big one and a smaller one I have two backup tweezers. Just keep a little jade stone here as well. And then at the bottom of my lash cart, as you can see, I just like to keep all of my classic and volume lash trays. And these are the ones that basically, like they have all the lengths and stuff that I need, all the C's and D's. And then when they run out, I go ahead and re-up from my supplies closet. And then I put new ones in there. So whatever's down here usually lasts me like a decent while. And it's the only thing that I need to grab. like. I said I don't have to get up and go looking for supplies, especially if maybe there's something not in there. Um, I would know in advance because my clients were already told me what style they were looking for, what type of set. So if there's something not in there, I would just go and put it in there before my client gets here. And then I also like to keep my adhesive container. It's pink. Isn't it cute? Right now I only have one adhesive, but I usually like to keep two. I'm all out of two. Um, but I will definitely re-up because you always need a backup. So I like how this has uh, three prongs in there. And in there, I like to keep the silica gels that it come with. And also the little, like, I'll show you. Don't throw these things away that come with your adhesive. Don't throw them away because sometimes, you know, we don't wipe our adhesive nozzle properly. And these can help um, unblock any glue that's trapped if your adhesive um, is stuck getting out. So definitely keep these nice and safe. And then I also like to keep these in here. These are the extra lenses for uh, my magnifiers. Um, I usually only use the 3.5 because that's the closest one. But... I just keep these just in case and I also have two tweezer cases down here so like I said I keep tweezers on my pillow tray you see I have extra tweezers um, on the first on the first uh, level of my cart and then I also have tweezers on my desk and I like to keep tweezers here <laughs> you can never have enough tweezers I'm telling you that right now you can never have enough it's always good to have backups and then in here I just keep more tweezers these tweezers I don't really enjoy so usually I would keep them for um, removals but I just do like to keep them handy so as you can see the video was obviously super quick because I don't keep a lot of stuff in my lash cart and I think if you do have storage space wherever you lash you should definitely do the same to just minimize stuff that you have to pick through keep everything looking super tidy and organized and just pleasing to the eye overall I'm pleasing to yourself because sometimes I know we can get bogged down if things are like just too chunky like because we have to be in so much supplies like when I first started it was literally hard to remember okay this step first put on eye patch take eye patch off do it like you have to get in the groove also of the steps you want to take to prep your client and start lashing them okay you lay down what do i do first do i shake my glue first do i put on the eye patch first like when you can just reach over to your cart and just have everything done like that's basically how i have my cart i can be blindfolded and know where i'm putting my hand just to make it quick and easy that's another way to cut down on time as well with that being said if you do not have storage space i would just say like definitely try and fit what you can in the lash cart but at least keep your very top tier the main items that you need to lash just so things doesn't get complicated not too much things in the way and it just makes it easier for you definitely hope that this video was informative and it just gives you guys an insight on how i keep my lash cart and i'm going to be hitting you guys with a lot a lot of lash content because i can see that that's something that you guys are really really interested in so i'm going to do my best you know Get the lash stuff on and popping. Maybe we can do some how to how to apply classic lashes, how to do a lash bath, um, how to cut down on your time, how to make fans. Like the content will come, I promise. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in another video.